Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be sharing this new skin conditioner that I have been using. It needed its own dedicated review to it uh, just because it was that good. This one is called the NARS is Up. That's the brand, NARS is Up vitamin c skin conditioner all skin conditioners in general have a main ingredient in it to help with the condition of the skin and help moisturize it now i am very picky with vitamin c just skincare in general i feel like for sensitized skin it is very hard to find a gentle vitamin c product that's not going to irritate the skin over time and if you do have sensitive drier skin, uh, vitamin C can be very drying to it. Before I started to use this one, I was on the hunt for a vitamin C skin conditioner. So I got this one. Honestly, I didn't share this one because I didn't really like it that much. And the brand is kind of hard to find. I tried to research it um, and translate everything, but the closest one I found, I'll link down below. So the vitamin C in this one actually comes from the second main ingredient in here, which is lemon fruit extract. And this one also has collagen in it. So for this one, I did try on my face and my body and I found that it was a little too harsh to use on my face even though it's just a water I just felt like it was a little irritating to sensitive skin and then for my body too I found no moisturizing or soothing benefits from this skincare water or skin conditioner so that was like the main reasons I didn't really talk about this one that much just because it wasn't really something that I would incorporate into my routine but I found one that was an alternative to this one still had vitamin C in it and it was a lot more gentle and a lot more effective so i am going to show you how i do use this in the morning time and the night time but you can do it the old traditional way for a skin conditioner just cup it in your hands like a puddle pat it into your skin let it dry do another layer pat it into your skin for your body same way so on the back of the skin conditioning bottle, you will see the method they want you to apply it with, um, which is four cotton pads on the cheeks, forehead, and chin. So you can use any cotton pads, any flat surface cotton pads. Personally, to me, when it comes to this type of technique, I like to use Japanese cotton pads. These are the ones that I like to use. Um, it just says natural cotton puffs, and they actually can be used to wipe down the skin, or you can use them for this method. And your skinner. I take about that much. You can put the skin conditioner into like a little bowl and dip your cotton pad, but I find this is fine because by the time you stick it onto your skin, the water will absorb in the cotton pad. And it's not gonna move. These cotton pads are really great for that as well. So I really suggest too, if you do wanna do this consistently, try out Japanese cotton pads. Uh, they are much better at holding the product and sticking on the face. The reason too why you would want to put it on the cheeks not compared all the way up here um, is because this is where you would maybe get oily or have more enlarged pores and it can really settle down the skin. Sometimes too if I feel like I just need it right here really quick in the morning that's all I do but since I do have some pores on my chin as well I've been trying to be more consistent with putting on there once it's been a few minutes when you remove the cotton pads take whatever's left over and i just like to tone my face like this and with this you just pull it and kind of just put it on the spots where the cotton pad wasn't so your face can get the skin conditioner as well your whole face your skin will be a little bit wet after you wipe it down and take off the cotton pads. So just let it completely dry, like wait a minute and then apply your moisturizer and your other skincare. But your skin will feel nice and calmed down. It's super soothing. If I do have irritation or redness in the morning, using that little cotton pad method really helps to take the redness out. Just for some reason with this formula, with the cotton pads laying onto your skin, works just a lot better. I feel like the product is able to work and penetrate a lot easier into the skin. So the ingredient list in this, it does list that it does have alcohol in this. So if you are sensitive to that, just keep that in mind. I find though that alcohol and skin conditioners don't really you know irritate the skin i find that it's not the most irritating ingredient so this one ingredients as far as like the vitamin c is the collagen and then it also has citric acid in it um which is also like a citrus type derivative from 
fruits, citrus fruits. But I find that that ingredient in general is just not as irritating as the uh, lemon fruit extract as this one. Um, but if you're not sensitive to lemon or you don't have sensitive skin, this one might really work for you. Uh, but I'm just saying I like my products in general just to be a little bit more on the gentle side. Okay, so now touching upon the main ingredient from these skin conditioners, which is vitamin C, why would you want to incorporate vitamin C into your skincare routine? Now, I was always kind of skeptical about that ingredient. Uh, I feel like in the Western market or the Western world, it is kind of uh, shown to be a brightening product. Like vitamin C is supposed to help lighten hyperpigmentation and brighten your skin and make you have that glowy type skin. Now, I feel like that is, it's not a myth because vitamin C does have properties to help, you know, brighten, lighten the skin, but I feel like that's not the main thing. The reason I wanted to start incorporating the vitamin C into the routine gently is because it helps with the production of collagen and it also helps to maintain and protect the collagen that you do have. Vitamin C actually accelerates the production of new collagen, which helps the elasticity of your skin, which is what is very good for anti-aging. Now, once we get older, or we start to get older, the collagen production just kind of slows down. So you want to use a product that helps to kind of bring up that production level a little bit and give the skin what it needs. I did try in the past a lot of brightening serums, vitamin C creams, uh, that sort of thing, and they were just like, kind of like the skin conditioner, but even worse, very irritating to the skin. When I did use a Western vitamin C product, the vitamin C level or the extract that the vitamin C was coming from was such a high level that it just for sensitized eczema prone skin, too harsh like it burned almost but that being said i did start to try to look into more of the alternatives and that's where the skin conditioner comes into play i've found better results as far as the plumpness of my skin it helps irritated skin soothes it down um it's very calming it's super gentle there's no like harsh feeling to it so that was the number one product that i wanted to share with you guys i absolutely love this one of course with all skin conditioners since they come in such enormous bottles you have to be really consistent with them that's why they give you so much product it's not something that you want to do every once in a while or a few times a week do it morning and night work through the whole bottle and you will see that the condition of your skin changes in all of my skin conditioning reviews i say that you have to be really consistent with it but it is worth it skin conditioners it's just not a sometime product meaning you just you know, sometimes use it and expect the results. You gotta stay dedicated to it. Then with this too, I do buy it at my local Japanese market, Tokyo Central and Maine, and it was on sale, it was only $5.99. So if you do have that store around you, I would definitely check it out. But if you do not have that store around you, I will link the product link down below because you can purchase it online. I believe it's a little bit more expensive. It's like $9.99, but it's definitely worth it, especially for the amount of product you get and how much use you get out of it and also what the result will be. So um, I will put that in the description box down below along with my other skin conditioning reviews. So you found this Japanese skin conditioning review helpful. I really wanted to share this one with you because it is very good, very comparable to Naturey. So if you're a fan of that and you uh, can find this one and give it a try, I'd really recommend it. With that being said, if you guys do have any questions, leave it in the comments down below and don't forget to like this video for more skincare videos and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.